a tutita, a tutita, a tutita. Ta. That's how we. That's where we came into this whole thing. It's uh, something. Uh, their girlfriend uh, opened up her phone and somebody had posted this, and I said, "No, honestly, if I had a kid and I brought I brought my kid to a daycare and I walked in and some woman was saying that's my kid, I would take my kid out. I would charge a woman with fucking child abuse. It was it was really really disturbing." We are painfully boring as a species. Every year we do we do an Easter dinner, we do Thanksgiving, we do Christmas, okay? Basically, we ate, we we have the same meal 3 times a year. And the same people over, okay? We eat the same stuff and the the pictures that show up on Facebook cuz now we have the advantage of everything's on Facebook. So we get to see. Oh, this is how we spent our entire childhoods. All the pictures of the food being prepared, the pictures of the, the, the food at the table and all the people smiling, okay? And oh, look at this, and the, 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 the messy table, pictures of a messy table. Then we have the picture, uh, the pictures of the women sitting at the table, the messy table, ah, then somebody took the pictures of, you know, they're, they're doing the dishes, the women are doing the dishes. And then, okay, then we got the pictures of some of the younger people talking with the women and somebody, some, some fucking piece of shit went out and took the pictures of the, uh, the, uh, the older guys, you know, uh, sitting on the couch, falling asleep, farting into the couch, you know, because they exhausted themselves eating. And, but my, the point here, it's the same pictures every year. The same pictures with the same people. We are painfully, painfully boring as a species. There's only so much time, Rosie. There's only so much time. So back when I was a kid, I, I have conversations with uh, millennials, and uh, it's like they, they try and tell me how their lives are difficult, but it's not really. I try and you know, really convey that you have no idea. It's like you have a cell phone, you can bring your cell phone anywhere you want, and on there you can access the world of the world and the wealth of knowledge. Like the, the entire history of mankind is at your fingertips right there. But me, as a young teen, okay, I had to sneak in to the bathroom with a, a Sears Christmas wish book, okay, just so I could fap away at the underwear section. All right. Until you've had to do that, you have no idea, okay, how difficult it is to be alive. All right. Now try and do it, and then talk to me. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So we're at the old winery restaurant on uh, Niagara on the Lake, and uh, for dinner, my, this is my birthday dinner in the free birthday weekend, which is great. I'm going to have a. Uh, What's that? Thirty-six dollar steak, which is going to be my only steak this year because I'm I eat ninety-five percent vegetarian, so you know. I had a friend. He was over. Uh, there was some alcohol involved there, and uh, speaking of which, cheers. <laughs> There was some alcohol involved and we're sitting down and he's talking about, oh, his new girlfriend and how they, uh, they were this close, like a, just this close to opening the ninth gate. All right. Yeah. You, you heard me right. The ninth gate of hell and, and, uh, it caused an argument, you know, um, of course, uh, mostly me. Uh, scoffing, uh, you know, and uh, so anyway, uh, pretty much. Uh, but I, the point here is, I'd like to think I didn't have complete fucking retards as friends, but I'd hate to be a liar, and I did. I, I did. The um, and 
But the funniest thing about this is all of this was happening the same year uh, Roman Polanski released a movie with Johnny Depp. I forgot to talk about it in number seven because I, I had uh, Leslie was filming it. And uh, oh, incidentally, who the person, my camera assistant right now is my, my new girlfriend, the beautiful and wonderful Tina. So say hello if you like, whatever. Hello. There we go. And, uh, but number seven, uh, was, uh, shot by my, uh, friend Leslie, uh, who I went to see Phantom of the Opera with. And I forgot to mention something in number seven. Like, I got all dressed up. You know, I picked up the, the suit and everything, the whole Mandarin collar thing and all. It was very nice. And several months after that, Leslie was telling me something about when we left. This was after we took our picture outside of the theater. Some guy took our picture. But we had to walk through because when theaters let out, it's it's pretty busy on King Street. And so when it let out, um, you know, it was really busy. So I had to grab her arm and maneuver through there because I can't, like a lot of people, it, it throws off my balance. So anyway, a couple of months later, like Leslie was telling me, yeah, she goes, um, yeah, I heard people, they were whispering, oh my God, he's so slow. And she told me that and it just, oh my God, when she, when she mentioned it, it totally ruined the whole experience, right? Because here I, I had picked out all the stuff, the suit to, you know, go see Phantom and everything. It was great. It was a re really cool, really cool night. And, you know, the city of Toronto would not let me forget the fact that I was disabled, you know. So I got to say, you know what? Fuck you, Toronto. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, we just ate. I'm pretty full, but uh, I'd like to take this time to do a really special shout out to my very good friend from the YMCA, uh, Peter. He's the one who made me my bookshelf and um, and got me the uh, piece of plywood for my uh, futon there. So now it's very comfortable. And I just want to do a special shout out because I know he's watching this. So cheers. <laughs> And it's my birthday, so there you go. This is not a commercial for a local wine. You could buy it. Uh, this is, but when I saw this bottle, I said, this is us. This is me and Tina right here. That's, uh, for Halloween, that's going to be us, hence the uh, the bowler. But of course, I had the bowler before I ever knew this existed. So there you go. This is going to be us. There we go. Yeah. She planned it all out. Like I needed shorts. I didn't know what I needed shorts for. And then I found out, oh, look at day at the spa. And it was so great. And uh, we had dinner that night too. And uh, yeah, really, really wonderful weekend. And then we, <laughs> we made plans to um, just to, uh, uh, well, she wanted to take me to, to see a couple of places in the Niagara on the lake region and then we want to go to the falls. So we're we're going to go two locations and uh, go go to, to the falls. That'd be the Niagara variety, okay? Yeah, the big ones, you know. And uh, we're driving down the road, minding our own business, you know, as you do. And then wham, bang, accident, okay? Just a little fender bender with some guy pulling out of a parking lot who basically yelled at my girlfriend and but we're on the road so it's not it's incumbent on you to wait till the way is clear not to fucking dart into the road right anyway so our day was ruined so we're at deku falls right now but uh that's not the big ones it's uh, yeah not the niagara variety small ones so that's what happened so we made it on our third destination and these are the falls of the Niagara variety. So finally, so we didn't let douchebag fuck up our day. So we're here and we made it. Yeah, quite a success. You know, there are different degrees of totality with a perfect, you know, perfect weekend on one end and a total fuck up and on the other. We're more, you know, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um, no, it was great. It was wonderful. You know, uh, best uh, best birthday present I ever got. The, the whole spa thing was wonderful. Couples massage. My first professional massage. And I got to say, amazing, amazing.
How did I meet this girl? Well, it was uh, one of the things that well covered in the blog and whoever reads my blog, they'll know the whole story. But uh, yeah, it was just serendipity. You know, it just, it just, uh, just happened like that. I, I was in St. Catharines with one of my friends, got a sunburn, boom, spent some time on, on Tinder, which I never do because I don't give a fuck. But, you know, sure enough, there I got a match and it was it was her. And so we, we, we met and uh, like took, oh, I think it was a, a week, a week and a half and then boom. So set up a meeting I and I waited for her at the Union Station, the, the subway station. And she took the train and I knew it like the minute, uh, like the minute I saw, <laughs> the minute I saw her walk out like uh, from... The uh, opposite side of the turnstiles are, yeah, I knew, you know, I, I, like I knew I was, I was pretty much, um, yeah, uh, I knew it would, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take long for me to, to, you know, to, uh, to jump into a relationship, which I, I've never, you know, like it wouldn't take long. It's it, cause that's usually, it's, it's not in my character to, 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 uh, just throw myself into into situations like this but yeah no I knew and uh it was great it was great I yeah it's uh I made the I like yeah I made the perfect choice you know I made the perfect choice it was great and uh that's still one of my 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 best images there is the first time we met is uh yeah from across the turnstiles and um uh, yeah like and in there waiting in union station subway station not the train station waiting okay i the minute the the minute i saw her i said okay well this is yeah uh yeah um <coughs> i my mind went straight to uh um star wars episode five the empire strikes back where I pictured, well, maybe at some point, either one of us might get taken away and we might get taken away. Like I could, you know, it could happen. I could be frozen in carbonite or, or she could. And either one of us would, would run up. I really wanted that Star Wars moment. And so I, I had that whole thing in my mind where I said, I, the whole thing played out in my mind either way, where I, I would say, oh my God, like if it was me or she would run up to me and I'm, I'm about to be taken away. And, you know, but then I would say, you know, I love you. I know. And I was waiting for the Star Wars moment, though. <laughs> 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 that would be the one. Yeah, that would be the one. But uh, yeah, that would be it. And uh, <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Did you just tell me you loved me? Yes, I did. Oh my gosh. What? I love you too. Yeah. Well, it could have gone either way. I gave myself 50 50. I mean, you could have said thanks. <laughs> yeah. You know, we get older. That's, uh, I'm going to be turning 40. Uh, next Sunday. That's February 26th. Kindly send your checks. Uh, we get older and we, we, we realize, you know, we, there's, there's a lot of stuff we should have done. There's a lot of fears we should have, you know, gotten over and uh, just, yeah, no, just do it, right? Just go out there and do it. And, like, do, do the stuff you like and, um, yeah, uh, so much unrealized potential. It's like there's a lot of the people who never, who never go for it. These are the ghosts, they walk around all over, like, and um, amongst us, and they're all over the place. There's so much uh, potential that lays, like, it lays dormant and never used uh, out there. Uh, because age, we get older, and it's like, we just forget. We just forget what we wanted to do when we were younger. You know? All right. So, uh... <laughs> Well, I'm officially uh, 40 years old, so I now enter my uh, my fourth decade alive. And I gotta tell you, like I for when I was a young man, like a teenager, I really dreaded this day. Like 40 years old, boy, it's it seems old, 
But uh, you know what? It's, it's, um, it really is about the person that you're with. Like, be with the right person and then you'll just enjoy the ride. So yeah, so it's important to live. Fucking just do it, okay? Just do it. Um, yeah, don't let yourself get old and regret. That's it. Like, don't let yourself get old and regret, regret this, all the stuff you didn't do. So um, one of the things, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, well, here, here's the most important thing. Yeah, fall in love. Do that. Yeah. This is going to be cut there. Alternatively, from the same movie, it's like, if we ever broke up, and I'm still here, it's like, she'd probably look at me because she is a Star Wars fan, we're both Star Wars fans, and she'd say, ah, you dumb bastard, your tauntaun will freeze before you get halfway to Burlington. <laughs> so, as I snap my, the reins on my tauntaun, I'll say that, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> you know?